The following contains spoilers for the upcoming season of Game of Thrones. Hey guys, filming for season 7 has already wrapped up and while we all thought that we won't see any season 7 spoiler related material until the official trailer for season 7 comes out, we were wrong. Yesterday were leaked 9 photos from filming set, which are of course not taken yesterday, but were taken probably a month ago, but were yesterday leaked for the first time. Beside those 9 more than interesting leaked photos that I'm going to show and explain to you, in this same video I'm also bringing you an official teaser for Game of Thrones Season 7 that HBO released yesterday. Let's start with those leaked photos. In the first one we can see a Stark bedroom, which is probably taken at their Winterfell set at Moneyglass. While this first one is not a particularly exciting leak, with every next photo the excitement grows more and more. Next leaked photo is only confirming once again that we are going to see Casterly Rock, the ancestral stronghold of House Lannister in the upcoming season, which golden lions above the archway with the red lettering in the center are confirming. Let me remind you that we have already knew that we are going to see Casterly Rock in season 7, as a few months ago we saw a few leaked photos of Chuhio Castle, along with a few leaked scenes that included Jaime and Bronn, a few scenes that will take place in older dimensioned Lannister stronghold. In the following five leaked photos we can see the unsullied elite soldiers standing beside a large construction, forming up in front of a ship said that should represent Euron's personal ship, the silence that is said to be infamous from Eben to Ashai. On that same set we can see the unsullied helmets, shields and spears, which are their basic tools that they are using for their battle tactics that are based on the legions of the old great empires, with large group of them fighting in lockstep, phalanches using spear and shield, which along with their uter discipline makes them one of the greatest army in Game of Thrones world, resulting with them not breaking even the face of overwhelming odds. Beside the Unsullied we can also see Lannister soldiers that apparently were on the same set with already mentioned elite warrior eunuchs. While I've seen a lot of fan speculations about those two armies being together on set, which a few fans think will represent the fleet battle between Euron and Daenerys, since Euron's ship was also on that same set. My opinion is that those scenes from this same set will take place in the final episodes of the upcoming season, definitely won't represent a fleet battle that is going to take place in the first episodes of season 7, the same fleet battle that will result with the death of one and the capture of other sand snakes that survived the fleet battle along with Yara Greyjoy. I came to this conclusion upon reminding the first leaked photos in which we could clearly see Daenerys along with her two armies landing at Dragonstone, which means that in the first fleet battle only Yara and Theon supported by Daenerys ally, by the Sand Snakes, will attack Euron's Iron Fleet, while also on the other hand during this same fleet battle Lannisters and Euron won't be allies, but will become upon this Euron's victory as we could see him coming to King's Landing upon his glorious victory and pledging his forces to Cersei. Those facts that I mentioned a few moments ago are only confirming that those leaked photos of Euron's ship, of the Unsullied and of the Lannister soldiers will take place in the final episodes of the upcoming season. In the last two leaked photos that were taken at Wolf Hill Quarry, we can see a white and a group of wildings standing beneath a cliff face. Those two photos are only confirming already confirmed theory, a theory in which Jon Snow will lead small force beyond the wall on a mission to catch a white, in order to prove the rest of Westeros that the real war is coming, which will result with Night King's ambush in which Jon Snow will almost die, a theory that has been refused by so many fans but as the time was passing more and more proofs were going in favor to this theory, which resulted with this theory becoming confirmed event of season 7. If you're not introduced with this event that will take place in season 7, feel free to check it out. Those 9 leaked photos are only confirming the already existing and proven theories, but it's always nice and exciting to see any leak related to Game of Thrones series. Now let's focus on a new official teaser for season 7 that HBO released yesterday. It's nothing spectacular, it's a short clip that doesn't even include any actor, but it's also the first official teaser after a long time. Yesterday, during one of its promotional segments, a brief HBO in production clip of Oathkeeper aired. It's a short, 7 second video of a hand holding Oathkeeper, Valyrian steel sword that Jaime gave to Brienne as a gift in order to defend and keep Sansa Stark safe. At first it seems like a normal, not suspicious video, but upon rewatching it we can notice that the hand that is holding Oathkeeper doesn't look like Brienne's, which could mean that Brienne won't survive the upcoming season. Let me know your thoughts on those 9 leaked photos and on this short teaser for season 7 in the comment section down below.